Our code though, at this point, has a weakness. And if you wanna pause and try to figure it out, it could be a good exercise. Are you ready? Okay, here's the weakness. The problem is that as we add additional routes, each route is gonna have its own controller and we're instantiating that controller as we add these items to the route collection. So if we have 10 different routes, we're going to instantiate 10 different objects, and chances are on any given page load that we're only going to use one of them. So this seems really inefficient. We're gonna be pulling in all of this code, instantiating all these objects that don't really need to be instantiated. So what's the solution? Well, Symfony's solution is to use a controller resolver, which is a separate component. So let's begin using it by downloading it with Composer. I'm gonna go back to the resource pack directory and I'm going to open the 28th step, which is called composer.json, adding HTTP kernel component. I'm gonna copy this code and paste it over the code that's currently in composer.json and save it. Now we're adding this line here and HTTP kernel isn't just about a controller resolver but there's a lot of other very important components that will come into play as we work through this project. For now though, let's just install it and see the controller resolver in action. So I'm going to go to my command line. I'll clear the back scroll and let's do a composer.far. Again, on Windows, it will be just composer and then update. Notice that we got our HTTP kernel, but we also got the event dispatcher. That wasn't something that we asked for, but it must have been a dependency of this HTTP kernel. We'll be using it later too, so that'll save us some download time. Now that we have it, let's jump to our resource pack directory again, and let's open up the 29th step called front.php, adding a controller resolver. Let's copy the code and paste it over the code in front.php and save it. Let's compare this with the previous version. So I'm gonna compare this with step 24, front.php. You can see at the top, we're adding a use symphony component HTTP kernel. We have a new line here where we're adding our resolver, which is just a new instance of HTTP kernel controller controller resolver. And now the main change is here. We set up our attributes just like we did in our previous step, but now we're figuring out what our controller is by using the getController method inside of our resolver. We pass this method the request variable, which includes everything we know about our request, like any parameters that have been passed to it, and this is getting stored in our controller variable. Next, we're going to use our resolver to get the arguments that we need to pass to our controller. This takes two parameters, the request that we've been building up, and also our controller. And then finally, we're going to call our controller using call user func array. Now call user func array is slightly different than call user func, which we were doing before. Call user func array allows us to pass an array of arguments to the function. So instead of passing the arguments individually as parameters after the controller, we're bundling them all up into an array and passing it that way. 